Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, been a little while since I posted anything, been a couple of months, just been getting on with life and uh, uh, you know, just doing a few sessions here and there, well mostly here in this studio. Um, you know, obviously we're all still living in this corona corona business that we're all having to deal with. Um, I hope you're all safe and well out there. Um, I've had a few questions asking about teaching some more Jamiroquai songs um, that I played on in the past. So I thought I'd have a go at um, showing you how to play the song Corner of the Earth. Um, I'm using this old, this old, um, actually it's an Eastman um, sort of big body style jazz guitar. Um, but the original was played on a nylon str strung guitar, but I'm just enjoying playing this one at the moment. So I thought I'd show you on this. So um, I'll just play the verse section first to explain, you know, so you can hear what it sounds like. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's the verse section. The style of the guitar is when when I was writing it with uh, Jay. You know, it, I just kind of fell upon this very sort of Latin American bossa sounding guitar part. Um, it's not you know it's not something I really studied ever, but I, I I've listened to that music quite a bit, and uh, this is just my version of it. So it's probably not. Um, it's probably. It's probably not that um, close to the bossa style. It's just my version of it, my approach to it. So the first chord, what I'm going to do is explain about the the the, 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 uh, the picking technique that I'm using with my hand, with my right hand, or it would, if you're left-handed, it'd be your left hand. Um, as you can see, no plectrum involved. I'm not using a, a pick at all, and I'm using this technique where I use my thumb. And I, I group my first, second, and third fingers together, sort of like this. So, just to practice it, splitting up your thumb and your and your fingers. Um, just we're going to use a D minor chord here, as there's the first chord in the song. And I'm what I'm doing is I'm sort of playing the root note of the chord with my thumb. I use my first, second, and third finger of my right hand, of my picking hand, to kind of almost sort of brush the strings together. If you can see that. And it just allows you to separate the, the, uh, the root note, the bass. You can almost, it's almost like you've got a bass and the, a chordal hand going like a like a piano player would, they'd have their left left hand playing the root note to the chords and the bass end, and then the right hand would be playing the uh, the upper harmonies of the chord. So that's kind of a, a useful technique to have, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pattern for for the first chord, the D minor chord, um, and then it's the same picking pattern throughout the rest of the chords. So um, if you just wanna, we'll just practice going through this first chord. Uh, so, right, I have to get my head around it because it, I, I, it's not something I ever wrote down or uh, I kind of planned what I was gonna do. It's just a feel thing for me. So I have to think about what actually I am doing. So the first event that happens is I'm playing the root note, my thumb and my fingers at the same time. So I get this sound. Okay. So then the next event it goes, um, and, and, and what I'm also doing is in my D minor chord, I am taking my fourth finger off. 
So, so I'm alternating between a D minor and a D minor seven. In that pattern, as you can see, I'm just taking my fourth finger off to go from D minor to D minor seven. D minor. Minor seven, D minor, D minor seven. Now, um, so the first event with the, the picking hand is I go, I hit both the, the chord and the root note at the same time. Then the next event is, uh, yeah, I take my fourth finger off and I brush the strings with my fingers and then I hit the root note again. So you get this. And then the next event is I go, uh, I, I hit the upper extension of the D minor seven chord. Can you see that? If I do it really slowly. So, so I've gone, I've hit both the both together, then I open to the D minor seven chord, brush the strings, root note, and then I hit the upper extension of the D minor seven chord, taking in the B string. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so then um, I'm I'm hitting. Back, I'm going back to the D minor chord, putting my fourth finger back on, and I'm hitting. I'm doing that. This is for the second half of the bar. So three, four. So the whole sequence goes like this, three, four. So it's, it's kind of, it's not strictly a bossa thing, the, you know, on a bossa thing, the bass would probably be going, Your thumb would probably be doing that that thing with the with the root note. So I'm just doing my version of it. It's quite hard to explain, actually. Um, yeah, I hope I've made sense of that. But I'll, if I hopefully I've played it slow slowly enough that you can understand it. Okay, so that's that's just for the first chord. Now. The cool thing is, is that pattern is the same for all of the chords in the verse section. So, it starts off with a D minor going to a D minor seven. The next chord is E flat major nine. So to play an E flat major nine, you've got your second finger on the sixth fret of the A string. You've got your first finger on the fifth fret of the D. You've got your fourth finger on the seventh fret of the G string, and you've got your third finger on the sixth fret of the B string. And what I'm doing, as you can see, my first finger is lying flat, it's barring. So you get this chord, and we're doing the same pattern where I'm lifting my fourth finger off. So it's the same, exactly the same pattern with your right hand. finger lifting off there and then 
for the third chord, it's actually a B flat six nine, which is sounds like a complicated chord. It's this is what it is. So you've got your second finger on the sixth fret of the E string. Your first finger is barring the fifth fret of the D and G string, and your third finger is on the sixth fret of the B string, and your we're, we're kind of alternating again using my little your little pinky finger here on the seventh fret of the G string. So actually, from the E, e flats major nine, all you're doing is this, moving your second finger up. It's exactly the same shape, but just you're just changing the root note. And then the last chord is the easiest one. It's a, it's a, I'm playing, and it's basically going from an A7 sus4, which is like this chord, to an A7. But how I'm playing it is I bar my first finger on the fifth fret of the, uh, I'm basically holding down the, the D, G, B, and E strings with my first finger. And my thumb is playing on the is reaching over the top of the neck to play the fifth fret, the A7, the, the A root note um, on the E string. So I'm just holding that down with my thumb. And I'm um, then I'm kind of alternating between my third finger, which goes to the seventh fret of the G string, and my second finger, which is on the sixth fret of the G string. So I get this. Three, four. So if I play the chords through slowly, one, two, three, four, D minor, D minor seven, E flat major nine, B flat six nine, A sus four to A seven. I do, you know, I do sort of vary the rhythm slightly sometimes, like I just did there. A nice feeling to when you get in the rhythm of it it's quite a nice feeling to sort of have that rolling round um so that's the verse section um the the chorus section is that the song's only got two sections there's a verse part and a chorus part chorus part is b flat major seven g minor seven f major seven a seven so if I play it as I as I'm as I would when I did the song, one, two, three, four. major seven is first finger on the sixth fret of the E string, uh, third finger on the seventh fret of the D, fourth finger on the seventh fret of the G string, and second finger on the sixth fret of the B. And I'm doing that thing again where I've separated my thumb and, and I'm kind of pulling at the chords again like this. Uh, I'm doing a slightly different thing here. So what I'm doing is I'm starting again with the both at the same time to state the chord. 
and this is actually quite easy to do. So I'm both at the same time. Then I do my first finger, uh, my thumb, sorry, to play the, the sixth string, the E string. And then I play also down to the D string. So I go. And then I pull the chord up like that. So if I just stay on the B flat major seven, just to get that rhythm. Okay, so that's the first chord. And then I push into the G minor seven chord. So the G minor seven is, um, I'm just using my second finger to play the root note on the third fret of the E string and my third finger to lie flat and bar the, the D, G, B and E string. Um, and that's my G minor seven. But you can hear I'm pushing into the chord. One, two, three and four and one and two and three and four. And I'm kind of pushing into the G minor seven chord, but it's the same picking pattern. So if you watch my hand, my right hand, I play it really slowly. One, two, three, four. Like that, same thing. Then F major seven, which is first finger on the first fret of the, uh, the low E. Third finger on the second fret of the D. Fourth finger on the second fret of the G and a second finger on the first fret of the B string. So, um, and it's exactly the same right hand action. And then I push again back into the A7. Which is so A7 is barring the fifth fret of the the uh, of all of the strings across all the strings and then my third finger is on the seventh fret of the A string and my second finger is on the sixth fret of the G string. So the pattern, if I play it slowly, two, three, four. So that's the thing. So I'll play quickly. Um, I'll just play through the verse part and the chorus so you can hear what it sounds like going together. One, two, three, four. That made some sense uh, it's actually quite tricky to explain how to do it because I'm not used to sort of thinking about um, what my fingers are doing when I'm doing it but I hope um, you've been able to get something from that uh, if you like what you've seen please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll get an update every time a new video is uh, uploaded hope you're well stay safe and see you soon bye